these are the last moments where I'm just with myself, I suppose, before I head off to college, to university, before I begin this massive new chapter uh, in my life. school <laughs> in like two three days I'm leaving home um, well <laughs> I've taken time for myself this year and I feel like in that I've lost a bit of like a, a strong relationship with a lot of my audience um, just because I haven't you know shown up as often you know I think that's part of a friendship or relationship is showing up somewhat often staying in touch and I've stayed in touch here and there but it definitely wasn't my priority and that's fine because it's what I needed right but I'm looking forward to, you know, getting you guys back in the swing of things, what I'm working on, where I'm at in life, what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling wildly optimistic. You know, a lot of things in my life are coming together in a very beautiful way right now. I just have so many amazing people around me. I'm starting to get involved in really fun projects outside of YouTube, but they're also connected to YouTube. And over time, I'll explain them. Most recently, uh, I hosted an event with some friends. We called it Creator Camp. We brought together uh, 35 filmmakers, artists, you know, spoken word poets, musicians, and that was made possible by Koji um, and also Epidemic Sound. Without them, we would have not been able to run the event. So a big thank you to Koji. Um, post information uh, in the description if you want to check them out. I think we're in this age where like being an entrepreneur is cool going to school is not cool it's outdated it's too expensive and you know that's very valid um, people aren't really going to school to learn anymore uh, it's more to get the degree you know to have fun and it's fine I think it's just uh, I don't know <laughs> you know when I think about going to college at least how I'm approaching it it's not to go get a job it's not to get a degree that it's not just for the parties, obviously there's a social factor element there that you can't deny, like it's gonna be fun to hang out with people, um, but I'm not just excited about that. But I also have to acknowledge that I don't need to go. I think I'm at a point in my career and um, I have trust in myself that I would figure it out. Um, I could stumble, I could fail, but whatever. I, I would figure it out, right? Um, without college. I'm confident in that future that I would be fine. I would be fine. But just because I would be fine um, doesn't mean that there isn't value in pursuing a higher education in studying something with, you know, the people who know it the best, I suppose, you know, professors. Um, you know, it's their lives, you know, to study, to learn, to research, to teach. Um, there's something undeniable in the value um, that that holds and being forced to do something. I know my generation, we don't like to be told what to do or whatever. Um, and no one does, right? But, uh, you know, surrendering to that studying experience, I think is good. I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, like for me, wow, what a beautiful opportunity to learn. <laughs> I think this gap year, if it's taught me anything, it's that I don't, I don't know much. I know some things. Um, I have my own experiences that I can share, but there's so much out there. Um, it was very humbling. You know, I'd go to a different country, and they'd be talking about the, the politics in that region, and I would have 
no clue what they're talking about. Um, and it's not to say I have to learn everything in the world, but there are large gaps in my understanding about the world, um, just broadly, that I want to fill, that I'm curious about. Um, and to have that opportunity to learn, to go to a place where you can just learn, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, do I need to pay $70,000 a year to do that? Uh, maybe not. We're gonna take a brief intermission because this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, that's Better H-E-L-P. If you're not familiar with BetterHelp, BetterHelp is customizable online therapy, uh, you know, via phone call, via face chat, or even through text, which I think is awesome and a great feature. Um, it's super easy to get started. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video. I believe it's betterhelp.com slash Max Reisinger, uh, better H-E-L-P. And after you click that link, you'll fill out a quick questionnaire online so that they can assess your needs and match you with, uh, you know, the best therapist um, for those needs. Um, and you'll get matched in under 48 hours, which is fantastic. Um, and if for some reason you don't get along with that therapist or they don't really fit your vibe, uh, which is fine, um, you can change free of charge at any time, which I think is a fantastic feature. So if you're interested in signing up today, you can click the link in the description of this video uh, where these penguins are hanging out, <laughs> um, or actually underneath them, technically. Uh, to get started today, uh, you click that link, you'll fill out the questionnaire. Um, the link is betterhelp.com slash Max Reisinger. That's better H-E-L-P. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring, uh, and back to the episode. So for me, uh, you know, I could make a whole hour long video about my perspective and why I'm deciding to go to school, but I think it boils down to that. Like, I think there's a lot of importance in slowing down just because I have a career that I could run with now it doesn't mean I shouldn't slow down. Um, take the time to learn how to critically think, how to have deep understandings or how to develop a deeper understanding, um, you know, around different topics and things and to learn, yeah, like from professors. Um, who, who know their stuff. To be around people my age, to soak up that energy, to be in a cool part of the world, I wanna give that a shot. Yeah, like I think it's an opportunity for me to develop myself in a way that becomes increasingly difficult over time. Um, to go back and do. I think uh, I'm in the easiest age to go to college. I think investing in yourself is the most important thing you can do in this age, or at this age. Uh, I'm not trying to be all like preachy or giving advice, it's just like how I feel like I think it's important, uh, especially in terms of like critically thinking and um, knowing how to analyze things and knowing how the, all, like everything connects in the world, you know? Um, I think if you really study and understand uh, the interdisciplinary, you know, sectors, of, you know, uh, that didn't make sense. But, you know, I want to say classes, music, art, history, business, psychology, it all ties together. Um, and uh, that's fun, it fascinates me. I'm intrigued, I'm excited to learn. Just like off the rip that's how i'm feeling that's why i'm going um and uh, i'm excited to take you guys along and i have so many things to say uh so many things to share to explore to discuss um uh i'm trying to get over my perfectionistic mindset because i wanted to like script this out write it down make sure i said the perfect thing i probably forgot a certain argument and i'm like ah i want to make sure i lay it out in the best way possible but i can't do that um and i think that That'll be what kills me if I try to say the most perfect or well-articulated thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna keep it casual, why not? Um, uh, this mystery stranger is arriving very soon, 
and uh, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. We'll see. Um, I'm excited, but terrified. But that's good, right? It's good. I have to pee.